God bless you, global Christian friends. We promise to get right back into the 16th chapter of the Gospel of John. Here we are. These words, these things, we found this all over this, uh, this discourse. These words, uh, 1425, 1511, 1517. These things Jesus is pouring out of his soul this last night on earth. He's pouring out of his soul. These things have I spoken unto you. That ye should not be offended. Think about that statement. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. The apostles know that. If the time cometh that whosoever killeth you, think that he doeth God's service. Think about that statement. We've talked about that many a times. Uh, about why would God need you to kill anybody for him? Does that make sense to you? God needs you to kill somebody for him. <laughs> Think about that statement. Verse 3. Here we go again. And these things, always these things Jesus is constantly talking about, are uh, these things. Will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me? He will show that. And tell that to the Father likewise uh, in, in the farewell prayer to the Father. But these things, there we go again, have I told you that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. Here we go again. These things, I told you that these things in this discourse is just running uh, rampant here. Uh, in this last night on earth. Jesus intend for them to get the message. Always these things I said unto you. Uh, I didn't say it in verse uh, 4. These things I said not unto you at the beginning because I was with you. There was no need in that respect. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And here we go. Verse 5, and none of you ask me, whither goest thou? I showed you the mindset of the apostles. Whither goest thou? There's so much they didn't ask him. But because I've said, here we go again, these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Always these things, but you never asked. But Jesus is obligated to tell. Verse 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Why not? It is expedient for you that I go away. Here's how come. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. That makes all the sense in the world. Why should he? Why should the Comforter want to come into a world that is full of evil, that is full of sin, that is full of corruption, that is full of doubt, that is full of everything that's unrighteous. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Think about that. He's still concerned about the comfort of those that are his. That's just like the Lord. Uh, I will send the Comforter. Verse 8. And when he has come, the Comforter, he will do three things. He will reprove the world of sin, one. He will reprove the world of righteousness, two. And he will reprove the world uh, of judgment. Now, you have to have a whole lot of power to reprove the world 
of sin to reprove the world of righteousness and to reprove the world of judgment. And he's going to tell us why this is the case in the next verse. Of sin, why? Because the world believed not on me. Ten. Of righteousness, how come? Because I go unto my Father, and ye see me no more. Sad for the world. Verse 11. He will reprove the world of judgment. How come? Because the prince of this world is judged. Think about that statement. Those who you serve out there across the world is to be judged by the comforter. Think about that statement. Being judged by the comforter. There's no comfort in that statement. There's no comfort in that work. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Think about that statement. I've got so much to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. I would have stopped him and said, well, give me the intuitiveness. Give me whatever it takes for me to bear what you've got. I want to know everything you've got, Lord. Uh, and uh, how be it he, the spirit of truth, when he has come, he will guide you into all truth. Think about that statement. He will guide you, which means what? You are being led. Uh, all right, and they that are led by the Spirit of God, uh, the Bible said, uh, that they are who? Everybody across the world said, the sons of God, uh, whom the world waited for to relieve the world from the bondage of corruption. When he has come, he is going to uh, guide you. The comfort will come to reprove. The spirit of truth is coming to guide. Think about that statement. All right. Uh, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. You don't glorify. Well, what, what, what good is that trying to glorify yourself when you, you can't do nothing without God? So the spirit of truth knows that he's the governor of all things of Christ. Whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And will show you things to come. God bless you, global Christian friends. Till the next time, uh, be blessed. We love you.